So in this problem, we're told a particle moves along the x-axis. Its position as a function of time is given by x equals 6.8t plus 8.5t squared, where t is in seconds and x is in meters. What is the acceleration as a function of time? And so what you should recognize uh, this function is, it's a position function. So I'm just going to write it as x sub t. Uh, so x sub t equals 6.8t plus 8.5t squared. And so in order to find acceleration as a function of time, uh, what you need to do is take the second derivative of this function. Because the first derivative of a position function, which they give us, is a velocity function. So the first derivative of position is uh, velocity. And then the derivative of velocity is acceleration. So that means basically if we take the derivative, we take the derivative of that, we're going to get acceleration. And so what we should do first is find the... Uh, first derivative of this function, that's going to give us velocity. So the derivative of 6.8t is just 6.8 plus 8.5t squared. We move the 2 down, subtract 1. It's going to become 17t. And then so this is our velocity. We need to take the derivative of it to get acceleration. So the derivative of 6.8 is just going to be 0, right? Because the derivative of a constant is 0. So 0 plus, I'm not going to write the 0 though. So and then the derivative of 17t is just 17. So a of t is equal to 17. And so we label acceleration as meters per second squared. So acceleration as a function of time is going to be 17 meters per second squared. And so this right here is going to be your answer. And that's how you solve this problem.